All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Fridays at 4 on twitch.tv slash DDO stream. I'm your community manager, Cordovan, and I'll be with you for the next hour. This is going to be kind of a news light show, just to let you know. I'm going to be hanging out in game, uh, farming some Isle of Dread ingredients for a uh, ring that I want to craft on my character that you've been seeing me play of late. We do have a little bit of news, but not very much. Um, a lot is happening in the world of DDO, of course, but in terms of new news that uh, those who watch closely uh, aren't familiar with, I don't think I got a whole lot for you today. Uh, the main thing I would mention is that this week we did take the store down on Wednesday to do an updated store, and the store is currently down as of the time of this broadcast. It should be back up shortly, um, and that is the new updated store, and so we've been working on that this week, kind of some longer hours for us inside of the office but everything seems to be going relatively okay and uh everything we also were able to kick off a coupon uh this week as well which i can mention in a little bit uh, we've started a determine your discount coupon we also have a really cool batch of bonuses for this weekend through august 6th we are extending our heroic and epic XP boost. So that's 25%. And extending our plus 5% VIP XP boost, boost. All of that is going through August 6th. In addition, we debuted a 30% crafting XP boost as well. So, frankly, a lot happening inside of the game through the weekend. Uh, hope you want to check it out. Um, I think that that is most of the news we have. We obviously have Vecna Unleashed happening very soon. The pre-order is underway for that, and the release date is August 16th, which, you know, for those of you who are uh, calendar experts, is not next week, but is the week after that. So we have a lot kind of uh, that we are doing inside of the office here for the, the next week. we got a lot happening. Um, but the new store is here, is the main bit of news this week. And uh, I also was going to, here we go, take a look at the calendar because we do have a Lamania set for next week. That'll be on Tuesday. That should be our final preview prior to the launch of Vecna Unleashed. We do have a Lamania preview happening after the release of Vecna Unleashed, and that one is specifically for the raid. We are planning to do a raid preview for later this month after Vecna Unleashed is released. Uh, we're going to have a preview just of the new raid and that is arriving with Vecna Unleashed a, a few weeks, um, something like a month or something. I don't know. We'll find out uh, after the release of Vecna Unleashed. So uh, that's really what we have kind of going on right now. Um, we're putting the final touches on Vecna Unleashed itself. Getting the final preview ready for next week, getting our final builds put together. We debuted the store this week. We launched a uh, campaign called Determine Your Discount. The coupon code is DDO15, DDO20, and DDO30. And it lets you save a certain percentage off of any item of your choice, and you can use it multiple times, uh, with the exception of the 30% off item, which is one. So what you'll do is you'll go into the updated store, Put DDO30, redeem the coupon, and then you'll see a checkbox basically on all the items you search for in the DDO store, and you'll select which item you want to apply the discount to, and then you'll make the purchase. A reminder, this was in the article about the updated DDO store, but is worth repeating here, which is that in the case of something already being on sale, you will have a choice of whether you want to apply the Determine Your Discount coupon or any coupon, uh, or pick the sale price. Do whichever is best for you. Um, but once you've then made the purchase for, say, 20% off or 15% off, because the 20% off, you can use that coupon code up to three times, and the 15% off, you can use it up to five times. So the way that works is once you've applied the coupon code to your account, and once you've purchased an item, you will reuse that coupon code to get your second item. And then once you've made that purchase, you'll reuse the coupon code through redeem code and then the little gift thing to use your third item. And that is how you'll get to select, you know, the up to three items 20% off, 
or up to five items at 15% off. And the coupon codes again are DDO15, DDO20, and DDO30. First time we've uh, applied this coupon inside of the game. All right, there we go. So I don't know that I have a whole lot of other news for you, although that, that's a little bit about Lamania and the raid preview. But uh, that's about all I've got. We are hard at work. <laughs> if we weren't working on the store this week, we got a lot going on with Vecna Unleashed, and we're working ahead toward the other stuff. I could mention one other bit, which is that we're expecting in the coming weeks to debut our first episode of The Joy of Deving with Bob Hess. This will be him working through and kind of showing off the dungeon building process. This is a companion to the PAX East panel we did earlier this year, where we're building a free dungeon in the game for release when it's ready, but end of the year is the expected release date for it. And then we're going to do some live streams on Twitch or other forms of content. It's possible we might get a little, you know, do some pre-recorded video as well. It kind of depends on what makes sense. But either way, we're going to have that kick off really here within the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned for some more information about that. I need to get together with uh, uh, Bob here once we figure out sort of the, the best timing for it because we are after all getting ready to launch Vecna Unleashed as well but it is going to start in August that is what we've committed to and the, the rough goal is to do a video slash live stream a month about the making of this dungeon and so that's going to be very exciting it's also going to be not me on camera so that'll be really exciting I think too uh, to some folks who would like to just kind of just see one of the developers work on a dungeon and answer some questions in live chat to their expertise in a way that uh, I think should be really really exciting for a lot of people and you're going to get to see this fun little dungeon get made too so that's all pretty cool so by div it's the I'll figure out the wording later there uh dilemma but it's the same thing because you can only buy one item at a time you can pick up a stack but it's one item that you're applying the coupon code to as determined by skew or whatever in the lotra store so if we need to change it from items to per account but that's what it is you apply the coupon code up to that many times to get things so if you want to swap a character you can do that as well i uh, want to swap a server you can do that as well but it's still within those limits uh, most of the coupon codes we distribute this never really comes up very much because it's a one-time use code but with some of these determine your discount things you wanted to experiment a bit with making it available for multiple purchases and so that's what the nature of that coupon code is about So yes, it, not only do you can, but you should apply the coupon code before buying something. It's really pretty self-explanatory, thankfully. Um, I can try putting something up on the screen here. Uh, I think I actually pre prepared for this. So let me just drop the deck not unleashed thing. Actually, you won't let me do this real quick. Take just a second. Oh, I can't because the store is still currently unavailable. Well, that means the store is still currently unavailable. All right, so that's the latest <laughs> on that. Uh, looks like we're getting ready to reopen the store, but it's not quite here yet. All right, well, why don't you just join me for a few minutes then? Let's just kind of hang out and uh, defeat some rares. And that's my plan. That's what I got going on. I guess I should check chat here real quick. Uh, welcome, everyone from Voodoo Spice's channel. Nice to see you. Thank you, Voodoo Spice, for the Pac-Man stuff. Y'all missed the 5% Reaper as well. Well, we didn't miss that. That's the, that's the one bit that expired last Sunday, rather than being the week-long bonus. But we extended the week-long bonus through this Sunday. 
So yes, Lavania preview four next week. Two previews for two different raids or for one same raid. Uh, one preview for one different raid. We have our next uh, Lamania preview next week. Vecna Unleash is going to get released, and then we're going to have a raid preview. As far as I'm aware, just one raid preview. Uh, what happened to Just Business? Uh, my understanding of what happened to Just Business is in the data by accident. Um, that floor entity essentially got misplaced. And so what was happening is uh, people were seeing Yeah, uh, it got misplaced sort of in the data, so we had to bring it back, which we did. But that's what uh, was up with that. It was an unfortunate copy-paste error, essentially. That's what we're looking at. Basically, it, the dungeon got no floor. Why is there a green skull following me? That is that is my creature companion. My tiny flame skull creature companion. Who I have not named. Uh, I don't know. Skeletor. Yes, it was... Um, the issue with Just Business was actually not the same as the issue that was happening with the pipes that also had to get hot fixed. But um, that's fine. Uh, they were just two separate issues that had to get addressed. Man, I'm doing all right on the rare spawn so far. That's nice. Not every run has been going like this. But I am looking to get a little better gear uh, before I probably epic reincarnate and should reincarnate at some point for this character. Because uh, I just don't have much endgame gear uh, on this character, and it shows a little bit in the difficulty of the quests I can run. I've also actually been getting a couple pieces of loot here. Which which one am I actually putting on? Um, I got this... Uh, actually, that's the old one. Here we go. The Fire Mouse Cloak. I decided to put that one on. Replace... A cloak I was largely just getting the natural armor bonus from. I do have that, uh, which I can probably replace as well. I'm also picking up the mana weave uh, for that constitution and everything. So I did did get that during my farming here. But I've got a ring that just has one piece on it right now. Uh, I decided to put the false life onto it. I'll probably do... I already have constitution. But I'm probably going to do Constitution anyway because I, I want to be able to swap out this gear for better gear. So if I have it all on the ring, that's where I'm going to put that. So that's my current plan anyway. I'm 
maybe my plan sucks. I don't know. That's what I got. No, my plan doesn't suck. It's everyone's opinion about my plan that sucks. Oh, here we go. Man, three for three. All right. The stream gods are being kind to me today. Which is also, of course, where I've picked up this mummy rod that we're seeing occasionally. I mean, was it legendary? I don't know if I would go that far. Maybe that's, uh, maybe that's a little, little overdoing it. Yes, I know my pattern may differ slightly from the wiki. It's just how I roll. So most people like to go with Surge Stream, but I tend to end my trek there. So I am actually going up this way. get back to chat in just a moment. I suppose I could put Rage on, but I haven't even really been worrying about it. Now the store is down to deploy a few fixes that we were able to get out pretty quickly here. Um, a couple of people who, who were initially uh, ran into a billing issue and uh, what's the other thing? I can't... Some kind of VIP subscription fix for some users as well. Alright, the stores should be just about back up. I don't think they're, they haven't quite been cleared yet, but I think they're up. I think they're up. Yes, the worlds are up. Oh, I know why I had this fucking no, launch logo up. I was gonna show off the coupon at one point. Sorry about that. For keeping that logo up where it ought not. Uh, 
I am not aware of a specific issue right now about certain combat music sticking to player clients. I've, you know, it, it, it's a, been a rare bug occasionally over the years, but I'm not aware of something specific, Titan. So if you've got that happening to you, uh, go ahead and submit a bug report on it. Uh, hopefully provide some detail that will help us solve it. I've not heard of any current plans to be on Kick, which is another one of the Twitch streaming services. Um, somewhat focused on... Well, I guess I'm not going to get into it here. But, um... Dense webs and so I don't the know. Base of this I mean, it's, it's cool that tree. people are on kick, but I don't think I will be moving over there anytime soon myself. Oh my gosh. Man, am I having like the luckiest rare run on stream or not? It's that dev luck. Seriously, when I'm off camera, I'm not going to have this luck. Are you kidding me? I wish every run was this generous. So I usually then, like, go up and then go up to deviation. So what I've been doing is is this. But... So I've been going up to check deviation here, and then I come down and just end it at uh, the crab or whatever. There's just less stuff around there that I have to fight. I can hear. So, look at that. Yeah, another one. Good for my uh, acquisition rate, though, I will tell you that.
have some combat music here. Yeah. No. Alright. Uh, can I explain the pipes physics issue? Uh, not really. It was an engineering issue that had to get fixed. They were basically marked as not being traversable when they should have been. And it affected that entire entity wherever it might be. So, you know, wherever one of those kind of pipe entities existed, it was marked as non-traversable. And uh, that's fine if it's like on a ceiling somewhere. Less fine if it's where you need to go in the pit. Uh, and that's ultimately what the issue was with that one. Oh, the music and the mind center. Music and the. Yeah, there we go. That's that. I've also been kind of running some of the quests, but that worked out pretty well. So maybe let's let's do something like that again. Uh, this time I will just go on the approved DDO wiki path. <laughs> we can compare the difference. The official path, as, as it were. Is someone saying I actually missed a chest earlier? I'm sorry if I did that. I wouldn't put it past me. I don't know why I have such a hard time finding a deck, but I'm tempted to cause more trouble for myself than it's worth. You think after all this time I could turn around? So, like I say, I will actually break it up uh, and run some of these quests as well. And the reason for that is because I want to um, complete the saga uh, that I've got, I guess, something like four of ten done or something like that. So I will be doing a run through the quests here at some point, whether on camera or not. But I need ingredients, and lots of them. And this is a, a pretty decent way to get it. So. Eventually you're going to want those stones as well, so I really shouldn't be ignoring um, the big beasts, but I tend to. Although... Oh, should I? 
I don't think I should do stone job without a, at least a hireling cleric with me. Alright, well, uh, let me let me do something here quick. Bulwark, that's who I want. Alright, so, uh, I, fine, I'll burn one of these. Let's go DDO 20. Bark. Keep on activated. Let's take 20% off Bulwark. There we go. And that's how you do it. As long as you're here, let's, uh, bring you two out, darling. See how your attack is. Alright, Bulwark, I'm going to keep you back here. Healing me. This is going to take a while. I suspect. general I skip these So, uh, I just am not, I just don't quite have the DPS, this is just going to take forever, but it'll, it should be, I think, I guess we'll find out, but it should be largely fine. Uh, I have not been doing these yet, though, um, 
I just figured it's easier to do these with the group for one. Um, but it also just takes some time away from the rest of the acquisition I've been doing. So. Poor darling, I am uh, letting darling just sort of sit. If I brought out an army, maybe it would help a little bit. <laughs> Which you can now because of all the expansions and everything, right? You can have a full group. Might help a bit, but this is. No, no big news today that I can think of. Um, really, it's just we're hard at work on getting our final build put together for Vecna Unleashed. Uh, we do have a Lamania preview next week. We have a pretty hype weekend of bonuses going on this weekend with 25% Heroic and Epic XP and 5% VIP XP in addition to a 30% Crafting XP boost. So uh, that's all been cool. Um, otherwise, it's really, you know, some of the media work that was done this week um, outside of the development team specifically, because they were largely working on any Vecna Unleashed polish along with uh, things even in some cases afterwards. Um, but that's been for them this week. And then the other thing was just getting the updated DDO store out and the store reopening here just a few minutes ago. Uh, following a little hot fix to address a few issues. Uh, if you do run into an issue, uh, the best thing I could say is get in touch with customer support through help.standingstonegames.com. They will uh, sort you out. See, I don't want to fight too close to Bulwark, because Bulwark is not great about uh, healing themselves necessarily. So... like with uh, a lot of things uh, with my characters, I could get better at just about everything, couldn't I? Up to and including that two hit. Um, get some accuracy on things, although I believe I have an accuracy at all. But mostly, you know, at this point, like I say, they, uh, I, I'm really just trying to get a decent set of higher level gear, and then I'll probably epic reincarnate and uh, true reincarnate. And get a little bit better now. But for now, for the last yeah, what month or two, I've been playing this character on the live stream, and it's just been kind of fun. I like playing this character; it's pretty easy to uh, sort of hang with you and, and play. And so I've been enjoying it. But I'll swap characters and such as well here in the near future. Maybe do some different things for Vecna Unleashed. Bring out one of my clerics or something if nothing else. Because I hear light damage doesn't suck. I heard that from myself.
So, what is your DDO weekend plan? What do you have going on in game? Uh, just uh, feel free to give it a shout out in chat. What are you doing to, quote, get ready for Vecna Unleashed if, if you've got a pre-Vecna Unleashed goal? Get a character around, are you gonna run it on Heroic? Get a character around level 18 or whatever, 16? See what's up there? Are you gonna run it on Legendary? Get a character, you know, ready to hit that new content, including the raid? people are are focusing on a, a specific game that may have come out recently. There ain't nothing wrong with that. But we are juicing it a little with uh, with some XP boosts and things like that for the weekend, so it's not everyone plays that stuff. Yeah, I, so I figured with the ring it would either be strength and then get my false life taken care of and um, I haven't quite figured out what else I'm going to put on it yet. I'm just kind of doing one at a time. Um, so that's, but this, that's a pretty attainable goal. Um, they don't, they're not always slow stone jaws fights. I mean, if you really dedicate yourself to it within what, a, an hour yesterday, I had enough to craft my uh one augment that was only like less than an hour really it wasn't that bad. I definitely didn't always have that luck I had that first run though to on the live stream today people are like you do have dead packs and I'm like no I don't they're just it's just whatever shows up I'm, I'm just a play account and then I go and prove it once again with basically getting a career to my first run but I will take it as well I will take those Isle of Dread ingredients it's actually not that bad of a well, depends how many items you're making, but it's, I have found Isle of Dread crafting to be pretty, pretty fun, pretty alright. Yes, I am still beating on this guy. This is Stonejaw. Uh, has several hit points. Fest with the High Lords of Malkir this evening. Now that is cool. A quick refresher at Corathor's Borderlands in the Harbor. Uh, also recording a DDO cast with uh, Clevo. Oh, very awesome. And then do a bonus stream tomorrow. 
as is Erinya health. Leveling up a fighter on the Lannis. And then regular stream on Sunday. Very awesome. Very, very cool. I know there are also people who are headed to Gen Con this weekend. I, alas, obviously I am not attending Gen Con this year. Uh, but I know uh, there are people attending Gen Con this weekend as well. So if that is you by any chance, awesome. Some year in the future, again, we will have another uh, meetup at Gen Con. I just don't know what. Don't know what year it's going to work out. But it will. Should be a good time. See, the other reason I like Bulwark is Bulwark can give me spell points. I can use those spell points to uh, redo my consecration, which is kind of useful. A Gen Con is a really big uh, Dungeons and Dragons tabletop and tabletop in general and geekery in general <laughs> convention. They're, they're not, we have been there for video games in the past, even in an official capacity, but it's been maybe a decade. Uh, I think it was about a decade that we did were last there on the show floor. They haven't really done video games quite so much in recent years, but they're a big game convention and they're in Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, this weekend. And I know a lot of DDO people attend because we've had meetups there and many of you have shown up because you were there anyway so it's good good time good place g e n c o n camera. Heal thyself, Bulwark. Alright. I've gone uh, quite a few years to Gen Con. Uh, you know, for a while I lived in Indiana, so made it nice and easy. I'm uh, going to a local retro games convention in August in, over in Connecticut. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. I don't really go to a lot of conventions, although I was able to bum around PAX East this year and had a really good time there uh, doing the PAX East. Program. That was really cool. I hadn't been to that since pre-COVID, I don't think. Maybe that's not true. It had been a little while anyway. never been to E3 uh, in person or whatever. The most I just saw the press conferences. 
I re once, just as a fan, I went to the Sony PlayStation conference that one year that they were uh, basically live streaming it to movie theaters, if you recall that. There was one year, it was about 2014, 2015, that Sony did a thing with a bunch of movie theaters, and I went to that, and that was really cool. I got some neat swag from it. But no, I've never been to E3. Back in the old days, there was a time when those E3 press conferences were the hotness. I don't think they're quite there anymore. But there's still a lot of cool stuff being announced. It's just a little different than that, that old style E3 stage show. That makes sense. easy. Yeah, and in a lot of it, it makes sense to do stuff that is perhaps more produced as well, um, and do it on a place like Twitch, YouTube, Kick, and other kinds of social media. I think we're just there. You know, if you're going to spend how much money to do a thing, you know, and uh, being able to produce something with maybe more trailers that's within your control more easily, um, it's attractive. And you can see why why a lot of companies sort of stop doing the E3 thing. So this is the way the wiki has me going. It's all the way up here, huh? All right. Except that's not right there. Over here. We cutting over to the shrine.
Uh, no, no uh, new starter pack. Um, I haven't heard of any plans to do something like that, but it's a cool idea, for sure. Alright, so now it's got me going over to the... the island. Say, I don't really go the wiki route, but I'll do this. Crocodile. So we are actually pretty close to out of time, so why don't I take care of business here, going for a swim, alright, and call it a show. Alright. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching Fridays at 4 on twitch.tv slash stream. We obviously have a lot of things that we'll be showing you here in the coming weeks with Vecna Unleashed and beyond. So uh, stay tuned. Hope you're having a great time playing Didio, and I will see you next Friday. Have fun, everyone. Bye-bye.